Today, we will use the WebAssembly Toolkit to see the program coded in Qt in the Internet browser. The Qt site has a description of making it visible in a web browser with WebAssembly. Download WebAssembly Toolkit using Qt Maintenance Tool. I downloaded WebAssembly of Qt 6.4.3. This time download the latest version of Python. This time you need to install mscripten, and gitbash used to install mscripten must also be installed. As shown here, you need to download the file from GitHub first. Before that, let's install Git Bash first. Download and install the 64-bit Git for Windows setup. Now create a folder to download mscripten. I'll create it under the Qt folder. Open Gitbash and download the mscripten file. Since I downloaded the WebAssembly 6.4 version I will install EMSDK 3.1.14 which also fits it.
Since EMSDK activation does not work well using Gitbash, it is better to activate EMSDK in the terminal window. If you see the following, mscripten is installed successfully. This time, let's build the example code in Qt Creator and display it in the web browser. Edit to preference to devices to WebAssembly to enter the path where mscripten is installed in mscripten SDK path. Now you can see what you compiled in Qt in the web browser. All the files needed to upload to the web server are as follows. In the files I built, four files were created as follows. Thank you for watching.